Okay, so this is the last video that we're going to look at when it comes to actually doing anything here on YouTube. The last video in this session is going to focus around what should my what should be in my videos and so forth. Like so just some little tips and tricks that I've kind of accumulated through this process and doing some research and so forth. So this video is going to talk about um, how do I create chapters, right? So a chapter in YouTube is uh, I'm going to set it at a time so that you can kind of advance ahead, right? So to do that, like maybe your video is a little too long, right? But you wanna, or you wanna highlight an example problem um, where I want to, you know, say, hey, if you, if you just wanna skip ahead to the example problems, go to this marker, right? And that's what, that's what we're gonna do. So the thing I'm gonna do is I'm at my channel content. This is my actual YouTube channel. This is not the one we've been working with and uploading and so forth. But I'm gonna go to the uploading a video um, uh, video, right? The reason I'm gonna do that is because this one has two specific points, right? Two ways of uploading videos to YouTube. I did it directly from Wii Video, and I also did it directly from, um, or I did it from my device, okay? So I'm gonna go view on YouTube, okay? Now, if this is your video, it's very simple because you're gonna see that there's gonna be an edit video option um, once this pulls up. Okay. Um, also, you'll see, uh, I believe there will be an, no, nope, I thought there was, uh, you can, there's an, ed, if you've ever used Edpuzzle, sometimes that'll pop up here as well, um, where you can send it to Edpuzzle to do some cool things with Edpuzzle. But the, what I'm going to do is, the first thing I need to do is write down some time. Okay. So I want to know where does, you know, the, my actual section on the, you know, Uploading from Wii Video Start. So I'm going to pause it right here. So it's going to be at 12 seconds. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to find where my uploading from a device starts. Um, and that's going to be at 4.33. Okay. You need to know these times because that's how you create them. Okay. Oh, there's my edit with Ed puzzle uh, button. So, all right. So how do we create these chapters? So you see right here, right now, it's just a a straight bar when you create chapters it'll create like little gaps and say okay if you go to here this is what you're going to look at right all you have to do is click edit video okay and this is very simple this is something pretty cool that i just really learned to do myself and i know some of my students are like hey can you just you know point out where certain things happen i didn't know how to do that but um thanks to lauren hawkins who's our one of our instructional coaches here um, she gave me a suggestion to include this portion uh, which I think is a great tip. So if she's watching this. Thank you, Lauren, for that. All right. So what we need to do here, it's very simple. It's not going to do any kind of real editing. All we have to do is in the description. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we have to start at zero, zero, right? At zero seconds. And you can just call that introduction. Right. And what you title it um, becomes the, um, what you see on the on the um, video in YouTube. Okay, so now my next time was 12 seconds. So I'm going to go to zero 12. Uh, and I'm going to say uploading from Wii video. Okay, so that's going to be one marker. And then 433 was the other time. And I'm going to say uploading from uh, a device. Okay. Now, since we're working with videos, we're going to click save. Right? Remember, if you're working with videos, it saves. If you're working with your channel, it's uh, publish. Okay, so my changes are saved. I'm going to go back to my channel content. All right, I'm going to close some of this stuff. Um, and now I'm going to go to that video on YouTube and I'll point out, I'll show you how so you can see that in my description. I've got the um, the time markers that I put in. And so now when you see it in YouTube, you'll see there's gonna be breaks at those time markers. So if you look really closely, there's one right here. Okay, and there's one over here. Okay, so you see that's one chapter. This is another chapter. When I highlight a chapter, it goes to a thicker line. 
Um, you can also see, you also see now down here in the description, it gives me links to where I can just jump ahead to that. All right, so I was like, oh, I wanna know how do I upload from a device? I click on the 433 and it jumps all the way to uploading from your device. So I've already showed you how to upload directly all right. from Weavid. And now so that that's how we uh, create yeah, chapters. And again, let me stop this. So the reason why the chapters are important is because it allows you to uh, create these for your students naturally. Okay, um, you can, you know, jump ahead to just a certain topic, right? If, or if you make it too big, your video is way too big, you can chop it up. Okay, um, and you say, hey, you just need to watch from zero seconds to 433. Um, one thing you note that because there's nothing here at the end, right? It just lets the it, for the uploading from a device. It just says, okay, you're going to go all the way to the end of the movie or end of the video for that particular um, for that particular um, section. Okay, but again, you can see in here it, it it creates, and as you kind of scrub over, it tells you what section you're in. Okay, um, so that's the the last of really focusing on YouTube. The last video is going to be centered around um, just some tips and tricks. Okay, there's not going to be a lot of them. Um, but just, uh, you know, here are some tips and tricks that you guys should, if you're going to create some videos for, for your students, um, these are just some helpful ones.